I think it's stuck in this furnace, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, what if I'm gonna move my furnace? Is it gonna move away? Well, hopefully it, it will move away because it was stuck here probably for a couple of hours now, if I'm not mistaken, because that deer just got out. Me and Bobby having great times. <laughs> Yo, yo, guys, it's me, Epsarek, and welcome back to Last and Earth Survival from our free-to-play account. I do not know which episode is this because I lost the count, but today we're gonna be raiding this base named Bart. And I still have a lot of bases here spread out throughout all the map, and I have to raid them because they do have some great loot, and maybe after whatever update, developers change the loot there, so it's always great to check them out once again. Maybe I'll be lucky enough, and I will get here, like, 20 guns, 20 steel bars, who knows what kind of things we're gonna get if developers change here or something, and I did prepare a little bit. I took here a couple of hatchets, I took here couple of iron hatchets. Maybe I even over prepared. Maybe I took too much stuff, but we're gonna loot his truck. We're gonna loot here everything and hopefully I'll be able to get here something cool. And I guess I'm gonna prioritize stuff here because from what I remember, there will be a lot of loot in this base and uh, you won't be able to take here everything. So I'll try my best to take only stuff that I need. And by the looks of it, I won't even have maybe enough hatchets. Well, hopefully you don't need hatchets to open up the chest. If you don't need hatchets here to open up the chest, then everything would be just cool and dope. Well, let's just check it out. Here we go. There's the fur. Oh no, you need even hatchets here. Like, I didn't take enough hatchets. I'll have to go probably to the forest and farm something. Okay, so we got here some wood stones, and I'll be able to start crafting here hatches. Definitely gonna pick up everything here. At least loot looks pretty great, at least for this account. We are level 50, by the way, for those who do not know. Here we go. Level 50. <laughs> okay, so inside of this chest, we're gonna get here swatch shoes and a machete. You know what? We're gonna take that stuff. Not a big deal. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I'm very happy that we got here some limestones and wood. This way, I'll be able to start crafting more hatchets, and I guess let's start chopping down these chests chests and uh, all I just want is to get some stuff for my chopper because I still need to get 10 engine parts and my chopper fork and then I'll be able to assemble my chopper. So here we got even more wood, even more stones. I think I'm just gonna take everything here and uh, I'm gonna get rid of these transistors because you know what? Transistors are cool but I don't really need them and also sad that I don't have any choppers here and I believe, I believe that for now at least I'm gonna get rid of these nine bolts and I will craft here now another hatchet because if these level one hatchets are gonna break. My dude will start chopping down level one walls with level two hatchets. Like right now, if I didn't craft that level one hatchet, my dude would start chopping down and wasting his level two hatchets. So don't waste level two hatchets as they are kind of rare. Okay, I didn't even know we don't have anything over here. What about the chopper? Chopper is like this, boom. Whatever, so I'm just gonna go and chop down here this door now with level two hatchet. And hopefully this thing is gonna have at least a couple of chests here because so far, I me mean, this base wasn't that bad, but it's definitely wasn't amazing. So here go, there are two chests. Okay, I have to craft another level one hatchet. Don't have to forget about this because like I said, said, level two hatchets are kind of hard to craft. You need iron, you need duct tape, you need planks and stuff like that. So be careful and be wise with what you choose. Okay, so there's a camera, there's a one green ticket. Not a big deal. I don't have actually space for that. And let's jump down here. One more chest and inside we are gonna get here basically nothing. Well, we could take here these three thingies, but again, we're just gonna get here aluminum. I don't really need that. So I would prefer to take other stuff. And if I'll have more space, I'll take this. Otherwise, we might just head back to the base. Okay, so this dude also has some workbenches. I'll try to maybe go and chop down this thing. So inside of here, we're gonna get some planks. Definitely appreciated. Do I have any more hatchets? Nope. Oh no, I still have my level one hatchet. So let's chop down this furnace. Maybe we'll get here some iron. And inside, indeed, we're gonna get here some iron, baby. So I think this is going to be the full base, if I'm not mistaken, right? I think I picked up everything. This, this, and did I chop down the chest there on the very, very right? No, wait, dude, there is still one more chest. Yeah. I think all of you have been screaming there already. Sayak, you missed the chest. I go pick up that chest. So let's go. Let's destroy here one more chest. It's actually exciting to raid these bases, you know? Zombies don't spawn. Nobody can destroy you. You can take your time here. And inside, we are gonna get here this new hat. Okay, let's take that. Okay, we got some carrots. You know what? Would be really cool to take them, but we're just gonna restore my hunger a little bit. That wasn't really that much efficient. But again, I don't have that much space to bring everything back to the base. So I think this is the loot that I took. I mean, not that bad. I like it. I'm not sure if I picked up here everything. I mean, these bolts would be really appreciated as well. But again, I'm gonna get these bolts another time. Not a big deal. So it's like, does this base get your approval? Yes, indeed, this base is gonna get my approval. It was totally free. It was on the map. So, yeah. so after we leave it, this base is gonna burn down in 12 hours. So rest in peace, Bart. It was nice meeting you. We totally destroyed that base. And 
Yeah. And also, for those who do know, if you just started playing Last on Earth back in the days, I mean, literally a couple of months ago, these bases wouldn't burn down. They would still stay on the map and you would be able to keep their your loot as kind of a treasure chest and stuff like that. I mean, kind of a secret chest so that raiders wouldn't be able to steal your items. But after whatever update, now bases burn down and they disappear from the map. So I don't have a lot of space now and I don't have a lot of energy to get back to my base. I think I'm going to leave here some of the stuff at the bunker alpha and we'll go to raid other stuff. Well, I think I'm going to go and raid now another base, but I'll go there completely without any items. I'm just going to take here some wood to craft some simple level one hatchets. And I took a couple of level two hatchets. I mean, three level two hatchets that I had already. And let's try to go search another base that we will raid because I want to, like I said, dedicate this episode for raiding at least to destroy those bases. So we'll see. And another closest base that we have to us is going to be agent one, two, three or player 7066. I think we're going to go raid this base. Boom. So let's run to this base, baby. And hopefully I'll have enough energy to get to this player 7066 as well. And also, I think this should be really helpful for you if you haven't raided this bases yet, because I think all of these bases should be the same for you as well, even though their names are going to be different. But I believe the layout of these bases should stay the same. So... This way you will know what kind of items you should take and how you should prepare to raid these AI bases because these aren't real player bases. These are bot bases. So here we go. We are now on another base and let's start looting out his truck. And I believe nobody can attack you here. That's why I didn't take here any weapons. So let's hope that this is going to stay the same way. And hopefully, hopefully we don't need here any level whatever more hatchets. So how do I get inside of the base? That is the question. I don't want to waste too many hatchets. Like I said, I don't have a lot of stuff, especially... No! Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot! Who? Don't be like me. Make sure that you have level, level, level one hatchets. Don't waste your level two hatchets. Some of you might have been screaming already, but hey, at least I realized that and didn't waste that hatchet completely. Because to destroy a full level two door, you need full level two hatchets. So right now, basically, this hatchet is just completely useless. So, you know, be careful with what you are doing. Okay, I'm gonna craft here level one more hatchet, and I think I'll start chopping down here one more wall. So inside of this wall, here we go. These are all the chests now. At least I didn't have to waste any level two hatchets. That's always appreciated, except I did waste one level to hatch it, but hey. So we'll start chopping this chest down and hopefully, hopefully I'll get here at least a couple of engine parts. That's what I would love to get the most. I mean, again, a couple of transistors and wires don't really need those, but I would take bolts gladly because you need bolts to craft bigger chests. And I also need bolts to finish up my chopper. So bolts are kind of important. Let's take some more wood. Let's take some seeds. Definitely basically 10 seeds are like what? 20 carrots. So that's appreciated. Here we go. Let's chop down one more chest. And inside of this one, we're going to get another chest and a wrench. I mean, wrench could be appreciated, but okay, let's break these hatchets and we'll see how much space will I have in my inventory. Okay, so we got some pieces of cloth and with these pieces of cloth, I think I'll craft my bandages, no? Okay, one orange ticket. It's kind of appreciated, but I would take leather for it. Definitely, that's going to be more appreciated. Like I said, we have to be very picky with what we take. You could probably take all the loot here just by traveling back and forth, but I don't have much time, so we'll have to do it this way. I'm going to leave the useless stuff behind me. Okay, so I have here extra pockets. So let's take this now. Let's craft the bandages with the pieces of cloth that I got. Here go four bandages. Let's take that. And this dude has some empty cans and a wrench so i think i'm gonna take this and i don't think there is anything else that i could take from the base i mean one I, one stone hatchet we could get rid of it but i'm not sure because this dude might have some food inside of this thing so you know what i'm gonna chop it down and indeed we got four juicy steaks gonna eat them up just like that and uh, okay so he still has some of the stuff that I didn't loot. Okay, how will I do this? Okay, we can just delete these hatchets. Okay, I'm gonna delete this hatchet. I will craft now another simple level one hatchet and I'll just chop down this door and hopefully I'll be able to get inside of the base. So here we go, we are inside of the base and let's start chopping down more chests. Okay, I'm just wasting that level two hatchet. I'm an idiot, dude, I'm a total idiot. Okay, let's craft another level one hatchet and I'll just chop down the chest now here. I just really, okay, we got a broken Glock and a broken Katana. I mean, that's cool. This is definitely cool. Like, some people go nuts when they see like this 10% durability Glock, but it's like totally meh. I don't really care about it. Like Katana? Maybe, maybe. Okay, I just want to go and chop down the chests first. Okay, we broke that thingy. Let's craft another hatchet. And I'm running out of stones, dude. And inside of here, we got that engine part that I wanted. Let's take it, baby. And what kind of a wall is this? Okay, this is going to be level 2 wall. Whatever, let's chop it down. And inside, we got some more chests. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to craft now last hatchet. So I just crafted now the last hatchet. I don't have here any more stones. So hopefully that will be enough 
hatch is to chop down here all the chests. Inside of this chest, we're gonna get another broken Glock. I mean, that's cool. Not really, really hyped about it, just like I said. Inside of this one, we're gonna get weapon crate. Definitely gonna open that out. We got full durability katana. Obviously, we're gonna take that. One red ticket might take it if I'll have enough space, but not right now. Please give me some stones from the base. Okay, my thing is just broken. I need another hatchet. I don't wanna waste these level two hatchets now, mate. Well, the point is this level two hatchet is already destroyed, so I don't think it matters if I break it or not. So let's just destroy it. Here we go. We got some carrots. We got some bandages. Let's take the bandages. Let's take the katana in my hands. And I think I'm going to take here 10 carrots because 10 carrots, if you multiply that by 20, that's going to be 200 health. And I mean, if I'm going to cook them, obviously, and this one first aid kit is going to restore only 100 health. So I don't really have that much stuff. So I'm going to chop down this last chest with this level to hatch. It's super wasteful, but again, I don't have other stuff and total garbage inside. Okay. Well, I don't have any clothes, so let's at least equip these clothes. That's going to be better than nothing, but oh boy. So, well, this base wasn't the best, right? I mean, he has some broken guns, some broken Glocks, but the point is, I would probably prefer to take these items rather than like broken stuff. I mean, one aluminum bar, right? Do I really need it? I, we could just get that aluminum bar from something else. I think I'm gonna exchange that for Katana because while his Glocks are really cool, dude, but melee weapons are gonna be cooler, at least for me. And one red ticket, man. I don't have a lot of space here anyways. This is what I wanna take. I wanna take these ball bearings to finish up my chopper. I wanna take these empty cans to get some more iron. So so at least this is what I prioritize. Some other people are going to take different loot. Again, it, that, there is no such loot as, okay, this is more important than that. Or that is more important than that. You take what you want. And this is what I took. Maybe I could get something cool inside of these furnaces. But I don't want to go and waste my hatchets. I don't have a lot of them already. So we got to get out of this base. And maybe, maybe I'll be able to craft some more level one hatches. That would be appreciated, really. So I just went back to the base. And this base is burning as well. So rest in peace, Agent 1, 2, 3, 4. You will be missed. So I'm back at the base. I'm trying to grow here now some carrots and the thing that I realized is that I don't have a lot of stones left like this is almost it I'll definitely have to go to farm and stuff like that But okay, let's place these ball bearings inside of the chopper. Okay, we are done with the ball bearings This is beautiful. So I'll still need a couple of balls to finish up and that's it I mean, I'll need to craft here like four basic backpacks, but they're gonna be easy as one two three Let's recycle these empty cans for some metal scrap because like I said metal scrap is important We're gonna get iron from that metal scrap and I almost forgot. Let's go. Let's place that engine part that we got inside of our chopper so I still have one more base there to raid so now I'm trying to figure out if I'll have enough items to craft a couple of level 2 hatchets because I believe the last base is gonna have maybe the best loot but it's also gonna require more resources to get into so I'm not sure and I need to definitely go and organize this base because in that my 20 best tips about last and earth survival I said that it's the best to sort out your base but I still didn't do it you need five iron to craft one hatchet dude are you kidding me okay so I had some stuff to craft like what couple of iron hatchets Okay, 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 that's definitely cool. Okay, so I was able to craft a couple of hatches. Let's place the loot in whatever chest. Let's get rid of here these planks. Maybe after all, I am bringing too many hatches. But again, this should be enough for the last base that we will raid. Let's drink a little bit of water. Here we go, just restored my thirst. Let's eat a little bit to restore my hunger. And I guess that's pretty much it. Here we go, my furnaces made a little bit of iron. And yeah, let's go now to the last base. Okay, there's like some sort of a zombie. What is he doing? Okay, get out of my base first of all. I don't want to see you here ever again. Let's just fist punch that. Okay, getting out of here. And I'll try to go and raid the last base. I'm just hoping that we'll get something nice. And also for those who didn't know, after you unlock this watchtower, right? After you assemble your chopper, you will be able to unlock here one more base. And I think that base is going to have some cool resources. Maybe it's going to have one steel bar and stuff like that. So today I was really lucky enough and advertisements work properly because usually when Whenever I watch them, sometimes they break and they don't load properly. And I had to watch like sometimes 10 ads for actually to get like that 15 energy or something. But this time advertisement work just with one try. So that's amazing. Let's go now into players 70, 66 base. And he has a chopper here already. So again, if you have time and if you're patient enough, I would maybe even suggest you to assemble your chopper first. This way you would be able to take more loot at once. That would be better. Again, he has like one bottle of gasoline, but we don't really need that as I don't have my chopper anyways. And that one bottle of gasoline is taking one inventory slot and uh, yeah that's not that much interesting okay so how we are gonna get inside of this base this is just a question and again don't waste your c4s on these
these corners. From what I've seen, you don't get there anything. So I think we're going to start entering this base from this side. Here we go. We chopped out that one place. And again, there is the new ATV. And what I want to say is that a lot of people get hyped up about this because sometimes they go open up and they see this ATV transmission and they're like, yeah, and transmission is in the game. And you try to explain to people that transmission isn't in the game yet. But they're like, well, but I've seen it in the raid. Somebody had the ATV transmission. So the point is this ATV transmission that you see right now, it's been in the game since the beginning. And there is nothing you can do with this ATV transmission. You cannot take it with yourself. You cannot take it with you back home. So, I mean, we can just look at it, admire it, how it's going to look like in our ATV one day. But that's it. This is all that is. So, I mean, whatever. Let's start tapping down more chests. And again, speaking about ATV, like I said, I do believe that we are going to get ATV, like let's say even this summer. And I've also seen developers now on Discord asking players, like, what do they expect about ATV? What do they expect about mercenaries? I mean, if they want mercenaries back and stuff like that. So developers are talking to community. And I believe that soon we're going to get one of the coolest updates. I do believe that we are going to get ATV with the swamp location probably, but I'm not sure when that is coming. Probably not. It's not going to be the next update. I think we might get it in the next like two updates or something like that, because I think they're going to bring back something cool. They might do a couple of glitch fix updates first, but after they'll do this, I believe that the next major update is going to be ATV and swamp location. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So again, I'm not trying to get to boost everybody's hopes to too high. But again, like I said, there is a many cool updates on that roadmap. I believe that, okay, I wanted to craft here a bandage. So hopefully that ATV update is gonna be some, something huge. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay, whatever, let's eat the beans. We're gonna get here some empty cans. Might take them, I don't know. So there's a lot of things to take now. This base is definitely bigger than the previous one. But I think first of all, we just have to chop down all the chests. We just have to waste our hatchets. We just have to craft all the hatchets and stuff like that. And then we'll see if we need to bring more items. Okay, so could I chop down this door? Yes, indeed, let's chop it down. So this door is gonna have just one more hatchet. I think we're gonna chop it down as well. Not the hatchet, but the chest. I cannot speak properly today. So inside of this chest, we are gonna get one first aid kit. Couple of carrots. I mean, okay, we might take that if I won't get anything better. Okay, we need to waste here level two hatchet. Definitely, probably I shouldn't be doing this. Or maybe I should. I don't even know, mate. Okay, so inside of this chest, we are gonna get maybe something nice. Okay, so more stones and pine logs. Let's take that. And also, I even haven't found a single dungeon. I mean, it's basement. Some people get triggered when I confuse those two words, but it's the same. Doesn't matter. When in dungeons, I still haven't found a single dungeon in this account. So, hey. Wait, don't tell me that I need to have here. Okay, I'll try to chop down this door right now with this level to a hatchet. That's kind of painful to do, but hey, we're still gonna do it. And inside, I just got here a couple of stuff. So, hey, that's super cool that I didn't have to waste any of these C4s. And now let's craft a level one hatchet, right? Right, let's craft a couple of those actually because there's a lot of chests that we need to open up and I'll have to prioritize what kind of loot we'll bring. And I think this is where skill comes to Last on Earth Survival because when you're just starting out to play Last on Earth Survival, it is going to be hard for you. You're gonna have a hard time knowing what kind of loot you should take back home. So it's just gonna take with time. And after you play the game for like a couple of months, you're gonna know what kind of loot you need and you won't need to bother about it. And by watching my videos, you will be able to basically see what kind of loot I use daily, what kind of loot I take myself. And this way you'll know what you should take or not take so smash that like button if videos are helpful and yeah let's keep picking up the loot gonna take here the wood gonna take here the duct tapes because again duct tapes are kind of cool i mean there is just a bunch of broken melee weapons i wouldn't suggest you picking them up you're gonna craft those yourself they're just gonna take your valuable space okay this dude again has one more broken glock we will see about the inventory well so far loot in this place wasn't that great but psych take these two springs well these two springs are cool but do you really think that they are really really that important? I don't think so. Okay, I have to find a place. I don't see if this is a level two wall or this is a level one wall. But what I do know for sure is that if I exit this base from over here, there's going to be level one thingy. So let's craft here one more level one hatchet and I'm gonna chop this window down. I mean, it's a door, door window. I don't think I have any windows in my base. Okay, gonna chop this down and super good that I didn't waste probably my level two hatchet. Wait, no, I'm still wasting these level two hatchets. Why am I such a blind boy? Okay, let's chop down the wall first here and show me if these were level two walls. And okay, these were level one walls and we had no chest inside. So whatever, let's chop down the chest and inside we are gonna get here basically nothing. So I also think that it's pretty cool to loot these bases because you get the hang of it of how raids work in general. And for those people who don't know how raids work, your base isn't going to be raided unless you're going to finish raiders tasks. And then you're going to raid the base. Then you're going to get that uh, one day skull threat. And only then your base has a chance to be raided. So don't worry about it. Your base isn't going to be
be raided that easily unless you're gonna finish the tasks and you will raid. So by raiding these bases, your base isn't exposed. So don't worry about it. Just go and take the loot. So now I really do not know what are we gonna take. Like I have a couple of here broken hatchets. I mean, this torch is kind of important, but whatever. There's one wrench, but kind of whatever. We are gonna get these wrenches. It's not something super important right now. I just wanna take the loot that will satisfy me like right now at this moment, because if I'm gonna start taking something that will be useful like 10 years ahead of me, then it will be useless. Okay, so he has this furnace. I am gonna chop down the furnace now and inside of the furnace, we're gonna get here a little bit of iron. I think I will take this stack of iron. That will be appreciated. So I'm gonna exchange this level two broken hatchet for this shovel. It is gonna be appreciated. And I don't even know, mate. I mean, there might be some better loot. Like, definitely, there will be someone screaming, Oh my god, Tsaik, how could you miss this one rubber part? I'm so disappointed with you. But hey, we're just gonna eat here the berries. So I spent here a couple of minutes, like, double, triple, quadruple checking these chests. And it looks like I took the most important stuff. Well, it would be really cool to take the bolts. But I believe we're gonna get the bolts from the green zones and stuff like that. So to finish up my chopper, it's not gonna be a big problem. So I think that now we will leave this base with this ATV transmission. And that's it. After this base disappears, there's... There's no way you will be able to see that ATV transmission ever again unless there is a new update where you'll be able to get it. But as of right now, that's it. This is the only one that you can see. This is the only one of a kind. Well, goodbye base. I think we took the most important loot. Maybe I missed here something, but I don't think this base had anything super important that I really needed to take. Like that one aluminum stuff like that. One broken Glock. Nah. I don't need it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We just got this airdrop. Let's go to the airdrop. Okay, I, do I have any weapons? Well, I have this shovel. So let's go to the airdrop, baby. And this base is burning now as well. Okay, so I'm at the airdrop. Let's deal with these toxic spitters. They aren't going to destroy me. I should go and pick up the grass now. But again, I don't have a lot of space because my body is totally full and filled up with all of these items that we took from the base. So, hey, let's try to loot this place. If I'm going to get here a better weapon, I'm definitely going to exchange that for my level uh, one hatchet as it's not really that much useful or for my aluminum because that one aluminum bar isn't that much useful here as well. So we got 10 iron, baby. Let's take that 10 iron. I don't have much space for 10 iron. So I'm going to exchange this for that. I'm going to take the skull crusher for the that level one hatchet. And I mean, there is that one gasoline can and I should take it because I do know that gasoline will be kind of rare after that. So I think we're going to do like this. Not probably the best idea idea but hey and look at that guys uh, look at what i just found there's like these 12 pine logs and 11 pine logs so let's stack them up but it's like how didn't you see that in the past i'm so disappointed okay let's go i have here one level one hatchet let's try to break it completely on these trees so i want to just at least fill up my inventory to go back home not empty-handed let's take as much as we can from our energy that i used here okay there is a player who just attacked me dude get out of my sight i totally don't want to hear beat you up but hey we just did that we just beat you up boy no, mate. Okay, another gray wolf just attacked me. Get out of here. Let's eat this. Let's take your leather. And I need to craft now another hatchet. Again, another dude. I am gonna die from this guy now. 40 health, 26 health. I barely survived, dude. I could have died here and that's it. I could have lost all my stuff. Now I have to be extra cautious, mate. I just deleted the hatchet. Let's take here the berries. Let's eat them up. Restored my health a little bit. And I want to get back to this airdrop. want to take my 10 ropes. And I'll try to go and kill a couple of these deers, right? Here we go. We killed one deer. Okay, this zombie just attacked me, mate. Is he gonna kill me? Nah, we're gonna survive. I'm still... We're still kicking strong here. I think I'm playing here on the edge. I shouldn't be doing that. Well, here we go. There's one more deer. We're gonna destroy it. Gonna take the leather from it. Here we go. Boop. Let's take that. Let's eat the deer's meat. And yeah, so this is the stuff that I got. I mean, just a bunch of wood. So from the last base that I just raided, I got there basically nothing. It's either I didn't take anything or it just wasn't important because, again, there are those things like, you know, those transistors, those ball bearings, and stuff like that, but do I really need this? I just took the resources that I need and then that's it. So I'm back at the base and the point is what I want to say, look at that, we still have a deer over here. So it's pretty cool that we didn't destroy it so far. I think it's stuck in this furnace, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, what if I'm going to move my furnace? Is it going to move away? Well, hopefully it, it will move away because it was stuck here probably for a couple of hours now, if I'm not mistaken. Here we go, let's put back the furnace because that deer just got out. So I think we're going to keep that deer for the rest of the playthrough in this account. It will be pretty cool cool to have one deer in the base and you know if we're gonna be able to craft like some sort of a fence for it to keep it in the base i think that would be cool because this deer does not disappear so let's keep it let's not destroy it and let's respect it so you know what i've been thinking i'm super original right now and we're gonna call this deer bobby and hopefully bobby isn't gonna run away from our base look at that we're just running me and bobby having great <laughs> times running together oh my god you know what let's get out of here 
I'm getting way too childish. But Sark, you are a child. Look at that, how we are running together, how we are having time, we, how we are having fun time. He's not running away from me because he thinks that I'm gonna eat him. We're just playing here chase and tag, tag, chase and tag, whatever it's called. So, who cares? Let's get back to the motel and I want to take that energy drink. So hopefully motel today is gonna drop me that energy drink and I still need to level up. I still need to do a lot of stuff. Okay, so I don't have enough energy and I cannot go to this motel and I watched all the ads. So, now we're gonna go to this limestone ridge and maybe, maybe I'll be lucky enough and I'll get there a dungeon, basement, whatever. And if no, then I'm just gonna get some stones because I totally ran out of stones at the base. So I can't even craft any pickaxes. I cannot craft any hatchets. So yeah. And also another tip, probably you've already seen that. I posted it and huge shout out to everybody who actually told me that because I did not know that myself. But the point is, if you find at least one chest in the zone, that means dungeon did not spawn and you won't be able to find dungeons. Like, for example, right now there is a chest in this zone, so that means dungeon did not spawn here. But if you run around this place and you don't see any chests, that means there is a dungeon somewhere nearby. So, yeah, here is a short little tip that I didn't know myself, but you guys told me. So, thank you so much for all those tips. Let me tell you that probably the biggest thing that I hate here in Last of Earth is farming stones. Like, they are so slow. Animation here is so slow. Low. It's super annoying. It is super boring like chopping down wood is fine You know like because uh, your dude chops down wood like probably twice faster than he chops down those stones And you can get a lot of wood pretty quickly like in 10 minutes You can get like a couple of hundreds of wood and you can just go back to the base But like that that pickaxe look at that. It's just like I do not like chopping down stones I do not like mining that those stones like it is the only thing that I hate the most and same for iron Like iron is probably even slower than stones, but probably it's the same But it's like dude just like take it away from from me. I don't know what about you and what is the thing that you hate the most about Last Zen Earth? What you don't like the most doing here in the game? So, okay, I farmed a little bit of stones, like three stacks of stones. That should be enough, at least for a little bit. Now, if I'll have enough energy, I'll try to go to a neighbor zone here and maybe, maybe, maybe I'll be able to get here something. Okay, 15 energy. So, I think I'll just walk back to the base with this loot that I got. So, I highly suggest you checking out this 200 reputation Last Zen Earth survival raid or click here on the second card and you will go to my new Minecraft Let's Play. Mm -hmm. Or hop over to my channel, click on playlist and there you will find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Also smash like if you haven't smashed it yet and peace out.